Okay, quick show tutorial on Show Express. Load up the software. 6.0, Express when you are found. I'm gonna walk a step by step through checking my setup. The fixtures are all in there. There's all my DMX address and it's correct. We escape out of there. Hop in the setup. All the fixtures are assigned. DMX mode is on. Escape out of that. But the fun part, the live. I labeled uplighting. We right click on it, add a page, type in backspace, type in up lighting two. Like you get eight of them per box, so if I make two, it means I can load at 16 shows. Turn the DMX on down here to the right. We go up, we right click on uplighting, we add a light scene. All my folders come up. I go where I call my PARs. And then I do all size alt. Left click on it and it loads it in. To, to play it, you simply hit the button, it goes gray, and then all your uplightings start working to the way you have them pre programmed during the, in the editor mode. Then we click that off. We go again, right click up to uplighting number two. Add another light scene. We go down, okay, we want the chase colors. So we put chase colors in. Click on it. Can't see it, but I'll show you later on in another video uh, after I have them all loaded up and working how the lights do change. Thanks to uh, DJ Mikey Mike, I looked up his YouTube and he told me how the software works to get started and then I took it from there and you can either make it complicated or really simple. It's all up to you. Another light scene, green strobes. You hit it and there's some flashing. Now again, not sure if you can see it in the camera or not, but later on I'll show you with, with the width and without fog later on tonight. Okay, we'll go to another fourth one, another add page. Oops, come on, add page. Click on it, highlight it, and you can change pages instantly if you have a mouse button by rolling. I'm going to go back to a lightning 2, right click on it, add another light scene. This time I want light blue strobe. And you can also click on each one of these at different times and they'll follow each one. Then if you really want to get fancy, you go up here, you right click on the bar, you go down to where it says chase mode, down here, second from the bottom, the play, and then the lights will actually chase each other automatically like a regular light scene. When you get out of that, you have to go back in, right click up on uplighting, hit it again on chase play, and it takes it off. And at any time, you can push any button and it'll play that color. To get them all to stop, you click until it goes white. I'm going to add one more light, light scene. Scroll down here to the bottom. Go slow light blue. And then click it. Hope I'm not going too fast for you. Now for advanced programming, you can right click on the button. Click move button. This little box will come up. Click the right blue arrow and it will automatically realign the boxes. And you click the X button to get out. You do this for each little button you just put in. Right click, left click the blue, click the X, and over here again. And then when you run out of, of um, the buttons, it will automatically let you know whether it can adjust them or not. Then when you got five of them on a page, you can click at any time, live, and it will run the show. Now again, all down. Then we just go back up to lighting regular. There's our sweeping colors. Then if you want to get a little fancier, we go up to live. Or buttons, sorry. But number one, we got one board. I personally like eight boards. So you can load them up and it'll give you eight different boxes. And anytime you can go and choose any one you want. Uplighting the first one, go to the second box, click on it, and it'll go uplighting for the one you just made. Therefore you have two boxes on the screen. Now you can go from one box to another and simultaneously play different shows. 
and just keep clicking. You can build up to eight boxes, get as fancy as you want, and that's how you can run your shows. It'd be better if I had a touch screen on my computer, then I could just touch it with my fingers and it would play as it got touched. I'll be more advanced later on in another video. For right now, I'm going to shut it down. Make sure you have your green box down here on the right clicked. Red is off, green is on. That way, the signals will go to your box and they'll send them out to your lights. And then if you get lost and your show's running, in order to shut the whole thing down, this is one I found by mistake, you go up here to this red one. X button, it clicks it out, shuts everything down, yeah, it keeps your control board up and running. Now all you have to do is re-click on the live button and up comes your page. It remembers everything for you. Until later, practice and enjoy.